Ladies and gentlemen, it is the homemade broadcast and HM bonus edition of the show. My name's Will Koontz. Welcome back tonight. Tonight, we're back to the booze, baby, because it's Friday. It is Friday. So shout out to my buddy Taylor, who picked this up for me. St. Augustine Distillery, Port Finish, right here in Florida. Uh, I wasn't sure what to think about that. Um, I do like the Port Finish very much. A little bit sweet. It's good. Port wine. If you don't know, it's aged in those things. And it's good. It's kind of got like a musty, which sounds bad, right? If you're, you know, you think whiskey should smell like poison, but it kind of does smell like poison, but in a different way. It's like musty and sweet. It's almost like a vacuum cleaner bag, but very good. Very good. I would definitely buy this again. Um, but shout out to my buddy Taylor who got it to me. It's birthday week. Yes, sir. So we're going to be cracking open some good bottles next week uh, for videos. Now, tragic news. Tragic news for people who are fans of Snoop Dogg and who are fans of weed. Lots of weed heads out there. I know I'm you know, drinking whiskey here on the video, which is not much better. I'm not really claiming that it is better. I do think that... Um, Marijuana is too prevalent <laughs> in society, though. I have never in my life got more pushback and blowback than saying I'm I'm pro weed, I guess, really. Like, I think you should be able to buy it and smoke it. But relax with it. Like the uh, having it become part of your identity. That's where you go. All right. You need to get away from me <laughs> at, at the very least. Just get away from me. Um, Snoop Dogg very well might be the best known smoker of his time. Claims to smoke 81 blunts a day. It's not good. 81 blunts a day, dude. That's a lot. If I drank 81 drinks a day, that would be too much. He says that he's quitting. He, first of all, uh, my buddy Zach pointed this out. This is a wild thing to post online. He put it on his Instagram and his social media accounts. He made a graphic here. You can see it's on the screen. There he is. He's got his hands close together. He's got a bunch of rings on. He signed it, the photo, and he made an announcement. And it says, after much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke, which I, I'm assuming means marijuana smoke. Please respect my privacy at this time. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, right? I mean, come on. Please respect my privacy at this time. Are people like going to harass him? I, I guess probably. People are insane. They're going to be like, dude, you can't stop smoking. I need you to do it so I can do it and feel better about myself. I don't know what's going on. We don't know why. Is he sick? Are we speculating that maybe he's ill with something and it can no longer smoke? Maybe he got, you know, I don't want to put it on the ether. I don't want anything to happen to Snoop Dogg. But, I mean, he's, he's an old man now. How old is Snoop Dogg? We'll have to find out. We have the technology, Google. How old is, oh, I already filled it out for me. He's 52. He's not that old. Okay. Sorry, Snoop. You're not old. Older, but not old. I mean, but this is the guy you, uh, you know, this is the weed guy. It's like him and Willie Nelson, right? Um, And he's saying, I, I'm giving it up. And. Maybe, like I said, maybe he's sick with something. Maybe he's got cancer from smoking so much weed. I don't want to throw it out there. I'm not throwing it out there, Snoop. I'm just saying it's possible, right? Um, he announced that to his 82.5 million Instagram followers on Thursday. He said, after much consider, <laughs> yeah, we already read it. According to CNN, Snoop Dogg claims to have once smoked herb in the White House. I mean, now we got Coke in the White House. So we're just, you know, who's going to be the first person to do fentanyl in the White House? The answer is me. Of course, it's going to be me. I'm going to make sure that that happens some way, somehow. I will make that happen. I'm going to inject fentanyl in the White House, preferably from the Oval Office. Um, you know, we'll see. It's, it's a wild time. It's a wild time. He has built an entire brand around his love for marijuana. Yes, he has started various weed related businesses, including Leafs by Snoop Cannabis brand and Mary Jane, a marijuana focused on media company okay he's also invested in casa verde capital a venture capital business business focusing on marijuana startups in 2019 he 
disclosed that he had a full-time assistant. Oh, this guy's like, he's toast, right? The, the assistant whose only duty or primary duty anyway was to roll his blunt. And he made initially between $40,000 and $50,000 annually. You know, at 81 blunts a day, I, I don't know if that's good. What is that per blunt? Let's do the math. Google. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this math. Um, so it's 81, 81 times 365, right? That's 29,565 blunts a year. Okay, so now we're going to do, how are we going to do this? Let's say 40,000. Let me just show my stupidness today. Uh, that's like a dollar thirty-five a blunt. That's not that good. Come on, Snoop, you gotta help this guy out a little bit. He said he did receive a pay raise due to uh, building back better, so he did get a pay raise. It doesn't say what that was though. He has also starred started more than one stated more than once that he's got the most stone he's ever been with Willie Nelson. There you go. During a 2022 appearance on. Sirius XM, Let's Go with Tom Brady <laughs> and Larry Fitzgerald and Jim Gray. Snoop Dogg recalled being in Amsterdam on 420 while the country music legend was performing. After that, they returned to Nelson's hotel room and played dominoes. The Doggy Land rapper said he wanted to quit smoking but refused because he didn't want to show no signs of weakness around the go. I guess Willie Nelson's the go. I thought it was Snoop, but I guess, uh, I guess it's Willie. Didn't Willie quit recently? Oh, no. What's the deal with everyone quitting? This is a World Economic Forum. Spot uh, quits. Maybe not. It's weed? No, I don't see anything about that. Willie Nelson has quit smoking weed. Oh, my God. This was like 2019 because it almost killed him. Yeah, look at this. Six-year-old country legend. Dude, going to ongoing health issues. I wonder if Snoop's got the same deal. I wonder if his, his lungs, I've abused my lungs quite a bit in the past, so breathing is more difficult these days. I don't smoke anymore, but take... Is he still doing the edibles, though? Like, is Snoop going to do the edibles thing? I I don't know. I don't know. Um, Let's see, where where was I here? Where was I? $1.35 a blunt. Yep, 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 yep. Got it, got it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, we're going to go back to this. See, this is the thing with doing it yourself on the fly. Get lost in all the tabs. It says it's unclear why Snoop Dogg and his family concluded that no longer enjoying marijuana was in his best interest. He's inspiring others to do the same. Everybody's giving it up. Meek Mill declared on Thursday. I do know who that is. He's a rapper, too. That he's going to completely stop smoking. The Dream Chasers CEO said that his doctors not only informed him that he had a little bit of emphysema, but also ca cautioned him that continuing to smoke might potentially cut his lifetime in half. So, yeah, see, something must be going on. He must have got diagnosed with something. That's the only reason, like, I need to, you know, please respect my privacy at this time. He must be sick. Uh-oh. He did kill a guy. Does anybody remember that? Snoop. And now he's, like, hanging out with Martha Stewart. I don't, listen, whatever, doesn't matter. I don't know who this is. Koi LeRae also shared via her Instagram story on Thursday that she plans to quit after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I'm getting old, boy. Can't keep up anymore. Well, that's sad, right? Weed is important to a lot of people. And I smoked a lot of weed in college and after college for a long time i gave it up about i don't know probably 10 years ago at least maybe even longer than that and i started to actually get stuff done like i always thought i was a productive marijuana user no nope. people who say they are i'm sure there are some joe rogan i guess you could argue that snoop dogg is one of those two and um elon musk i guess <laughs> i think he just smoked that one time on joe rogan's i don't know I don't get the uh I don't I don't really believe in the motivated smoker to do that. Oh, I'm one of those. Okay. Sure you are. You're right. You're right. You are. You're an assistant manager. You are. But man, 
It's, it's weird because I'm like, I, I'm pro weed. I obviously used weed for a long time, but I also hate weed. I hate it. It's, uh, it stinks. I don't really like the smell of it anymore that I'm not a user of it. I hate smelling it in public now. And maybe I'm just, I'm an old man now. I don't know who Koi Leve is, so maybe I'm just old. But there are a lot of old people that like weed still. Does Willie approve of? Ask Willie. Can we get Willie Nelson on here? Willie, if you're listening, if you're a fan of this podcast, please write me, thehomemadebroadcast at gmail.com, and uh, tell me about these whippersnappers and other folks who are just, you know, using marijuana out in the open. You used to have to try to hide it a little bit. Now everybody's got the vapes, and the, the vapes aren't so bad because you can't really smell those as much. Uh, uh-oh, I lost my guy. Oh, there he is. Internet's acting weird tonight. Um. Johnny B shows off tonight. Obviously, they're taking on an unknown opponent of the, uh, you know, playing hockey tonight. Or no, it's it's the Bulls. My beloved USF Bulls are playing uh, a football team tonight. So cool. I'll go watch that. I guess. I think they one more win, they get into the uh, to a bowl game. So that's cool. Um, so smoke some weed, have a drink, and enjoy your Friday night. I'll be back on Monday here, maybe even more often here, uh, depending on how certain things go over the next few days. It's a whole other story that I can't get into right now. But anyway, have a great night and uh, follow me on social home underscore made underscore man. I got some stickers going out. If you want any of those, just email me or text me down there. Right down here is the number 813-693-2124, the homemade broadcast at gmail.com. And uh, we'll talk to you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. It's going to be fun. Holiday weekend is uh, coming up. It's pretty much the holiday now. Everybody's just, you know, punching out. So including me, uh, if you can tell. And uh, we'll talk to you Monday.